Oh my guys, it is another suck-ass mid-winter day here. April in Texas. <laughs> 94 degrees on Monday, 46, 47 degrees here on Friday. It's mid-winter day on Friday, April 7th, 2023. Anyway, so I, I just want to, I haven't, since the batteries on both of my fucking computers are dead right now. Both of my fucking computers are dead right now. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just sitting here killing time, waiting for batteries to, uh, refresh so I can come out here to this fucking tool shed and talk to myself uh, with my manga bay around up. So I've been out of bed for, have I been out of bed for three hours today? I, the plan today was to apparently, I think it was to be outside digging up a bunch of baby Texas sage plants and moving them around and whatnot. So that was the plan for today. Get up, fucking nasty. Fucking bullshit out here. So I said, fuck it. I'll have to do it Saturday or Sunday because I'm out of here on Monday. So I think, okay, Hambone, since that plan is dead, what do you need to do? So I start, you know, my little punch out list of things to do. So, you know, since it is time to head back to New York, baby, and figure out my life, I, you know, I'm looking at my finances and prioritizing what uh, big ticket items and shit I have to spend. Uh, so I'm thinking, I've been down here for a month, for a month in Texas, and it just going about uh, my daily life. Hanging out here in Texas, going about my daily life, I have no rent or house payment, I have no car payment, I have no kids, well, except for the little dog here, and uh, so I've been here one month, and I'm thinking, okay, how much money have you spent in a month? And I'm thinking, you know, I, I feel like this these little the, these little miniature hemorrhages on my wallet. I'm thinking, okay, roughly thirty days. I said, well, fuck, if I've spent fifty dollars every day. Uh, you know, that's $1,500. I, I said, there's a chance that, that I, I said, it wouldn't really surprise me if, if I have just blown $1,500 out my ass uh, in, in, in the past month uh, with, with really nothing to show for it at the end of the month. So I go on and I get on the computer, blah, blah, blah and start doing all of my figuring and tallying. <clears throat> well, guys, I have not spent $50 a day the past month. I have spent $80 a day. $2,400 fucking dollars has disappeared uh, out of my bank account. Uh, in, 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 in the past month. 2400 fucking dollars. What is that over a year? That's 24... 28800 dollars. If, 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 if I continue to do this uh, over the next year, uh, just, just with no big ticket items, like it, it, if I don't spend one more dollar at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, you know, on these big ticket items, uh, <clears throat> twenty-eight thousand eight hundred fucking dollars, just going out my ass, and uh, like motherfucker. So, speaking of things I need to do at Bugs in a Jar Farm, what one of the things I want to do, guys, is screen in a porch on one of the tiny houses. Just, I mean, the porch, the fucking porch is already there. What I'm looking for is an eight foot, a 96 inch, 
25 foot roll of screen. I'm thinking, okay, uh, go on here. You, you know, I'm, I'm paying whatever it is, 15 fucking dollars a month to Amazon dot prime where, where I get my free shipping. And, uh, so I go on to amazon.com and, and, and I put in a fucking roll of screen. Do you think anywhere on Amazon.com that you're going to find a 25-foot fucking roll of, uh, uh, of screen? Do you think you're going to find a 50-foot roll of screen? Now, if you're looking for 100 feet of screen, you'll find plenty of choices for 150 fucking dollars. I don't need 100 feet. I don't even need 25 feet. I don't even, I probably need 20 feet. 20 fucking feet of screen. 150 fucking dollars. I think, fuck you, Amazon. So I go over to Lowe's. So I go on to Lowe's and I put in a you know, 96 inch, 25 foot roll of screen. It comes right up. $58. And I said, finally, thank you very much. What I love about Lowe's is that you can use PayPal because, you know, PayPal is that fake money where you don't feel like the shit's coming out of your bank account. So I go in <clears throat> and, and clearly letters this big, $58. And I go to check out $357. $357, and what it is, is, is not just regular screen, it's what they call pool grade screen, uh, you know, to keep uh, bull alligators in Florida from punching through your fucking screen. So I get on with the little robot, and, and I'm talking back and forth to the guy, and, and saying, what the fuck? This shit was supposed to be $58. And I go on and you're telling me three and I said, where did you get the fucking $58 from? And, and he goes, dude, I, he goes, I, I'm sorry. I don't know where the fucking $58, $357 for a 25 foot uh, roll of screen. So finally, I said, then I go over to Home Depot. Same story. Amazon, Lowe's, Home Depot, you can order 100 foot rolls of fucking screen for 150 fucking dollars. That, that's it. So then I uh, go, just fuck it. I just Googled it. I just Googled it. And voila, there is one place in this country where you can get this roll of screen, $54. And I said, okay. Fine, I wish the fuck I'd start here. Some little fly-by-night, probably scammer uh, going on there. Of course, they do not accept PayPal. So I go and hit the checkout. You, you know, when I go to checkout, so take a wild guess what it says. Well, at least it doesn't say $357. It says $76.00 because, of course, it's $22 to ship the $54 thing of screen. I, I just said, fuck you, to this. And so, uh, and so I still haven't uh, set, settled the screen issue. So then I'm moving on. Uh, what was the next thing on my list? I, I go to start doing the, figuring out the next goddamn hit to my wallet, and the, and the fucking computer goes dead. My battery crashes. And, and I said, what the fuck? I knew the battery charger had been, had been plugged into my computer. So the whole time I've been on the computer thinking I was charging my fucking battery, <clears throat> so I go over and find out that my friend has unplugged, not my computer, but unplugged the entire fucking power strip. The computer uh, was uh, plugged. So I plugged it back in. 
and said, okay, let me go check my other computer, my backup. So I go dig out my backup computer. Same fucking story. Got two, got two dead batteries. <clears throat> so, okay, so I have about an hour to kill. And uh, so I need to make Sancho Panza, you know, I cook him his own chicken and rice. Well, the night before last, you know, when he was running out of food, I went because I, I went to get the chicken and rice that I had in the freezer already made for him, and I knew there was another thing of chicken and rice left in there. Of course, no fucking chicken and rice, and I go, motherfucker, uh, he's going to be out of food, I'm going to have to cook him this shit on Friday, and uh, so... Uh, so make a note to buy the goddamn chicken. Well, then I look and I see that there's still a, uh, a right there in the freezer. It wasn't already made, but I still had plenty of chicken left over. I mean, I could see it looked to me like uh, there was plenty of chicken. So I, I, I even took the fucking uh, package out of the freezer the night before last set it in the refrigerator to thaw so I could cook it today. So, <clears throat> I go to cook his chicken, and I open up the fucking bag, and it's not what the fuck I thought it was. He doesn't have any fucking chicken. Well, it just so happens that yesterday, yesterday, I was at the grocery store getting some other shit, and they had one of these 10-pound bags of chicken for $4.90, four dollars and ninety cents, four forty nine cents a fucking pound uh, for chicken, and uh, all these people bitching about uh, the price of food. They had, uh, I mean, a shitload of these things, these ten pound bags of chickens at the supermarket. This was about seven o'clock last night. The goddamn store was full of these. So I tell the little dog. We have to go down. I have to buy you a new bag of chicken and come back and cook it. Get in my gas sucking truck. And, and, and I'm driving to the store and it feels like my goddamn truck is out of alignment or like, what the fuck is going on now? I just had the, the fucking mechanic out here two days ago uh, spending a hundred fucking dollars. There's clearly something going wrong uh, with the uh, back end of that truck. So I, I, I come to the goddamn grocery store and I look and my fucking tire is, is not entirely flat, but looking like, you know, it, it, it has about 12 pounds of fucking pressure in it. It's this fucking tire that I've been dealing with for Aaron. Aaron, how long has it been since, what was it, uh, I I anyway, uh, I've been dealing with this fucking tire. I have already patched this motherfucking tire. Every time I patch this $50 tire, I, I spend $50 to patch it. So, uh, I pat so now it's fucked up again. Uh, I'm supposed to be heading to Atlanta on Monday. It's fucking Easter weekend. No fucking way I, I'm going to get this tire patched between here and Atlanta. So I say, okay, d d just inflate the fucking tire. Uh, so, so I go into the fucking grocery store, all pissed off about the fucking tire. I, I go all the way back to the goddamn uh, meat department to pick up my 10-gallon uh, my, my 10 pound bag of chicken to cook the dog and take a wild guess. Every motherfucking bag uh, of that chicken is gone. Well, obviously 49 cents a pound. Every fucking one of the things is gone. When I say motherfucker, so I, I go up, and they say, well, there's still plenty, you know, in the next store, uh, 20 miles down the road. And I said, well, I can't deal with it now. So I walk out of the fucking store, 
empty handed, no fucking chicken, go back out to deal with the fucking tire. All I want to do is put some fucking air in the tire. Well, there's three gas stations in this town. Three fucking air pumps that I'm aware of. Get in the fucking truck, go to the Chevron station. Big sign uh, out of order on the air machine. So then I get back in my truck and, and I hobble over to the Shell station. It's two dollars for air. Two dollars for air at the Shell station. And so you need eight quarters. So how many quarters do you think I have in my fucking truck? If your guess is seven fucking quarters, I'm one fucking quarter shy. The machine is on, the lights on, says air, everything. So I, I go in. All I need to do is change a fucking dollar bill for four quarters. I go and I wait through the fucking line and uh, get my quarters. And the woman at the, at the cash register says, are, are you putting air in your tires? And I said, yeah. I said, that's exactly what I'm doing. She goes, well, don't use that machine. She, she goes, uh, you know, that machine is a piece of shit that you can't trust anything about it. And I says, you're telling me the machine doesn't work? And she goes, well, I wouldn't trust it. And I said, well, darling, don't you think maybe you should put a sign on the thing out of order? She says, I'm not the boss. I'm just telling you. She says, go up to the Exxon station and use their machine. So I get back in my fucking truck, drive to the third gas station, pull up, and uh, I had 15 pounds of pressure in the thing. Well, it so happens that the, that the patch on this tire is looking right at me, you know, and it's pouring down rain, so the tire's wet. So I'm sitting there, you know, with the air going in, and, and there's all of these little spit bubbles coming out from around uh, that patch, which could blow at any minute, getting ready to get in that gas-sucking truck uh, on Monday morning, driving here from here to Atlanta, Georgia, uh, on this tire. No way that I'm going to get this fucking thing patched before Monday morning. So now I just have to decide, do I just risk it and get it fixed in Atlanta? Or, or do I ride on the spare? All of that fucking bullshit. <clears throat> Come back home. Come back home. So now I've been gone for, uh, I guess, a good guy, between the grocery store, three gas stations, what, uh, what I've managed to do is put some air in one tire, uh, come back home, say, okay, do my fucking Manga Bay Roundup rant. And I open up the computer that has been charging, where the battery's been charging for an hour, and the computer is dead. And I'm going, what the fuck? Why is the computer dead? And I look at the charging light. Uh, you, you, know, uh, where, you know, where it plugs in and there was no charging light. And I said, how the fuck can there be no charging light? Well, take a wild guess. The fucking power strip that I had plugged in had been turned off. So the entire fucking time I had been dealing with this fucking bullshit, uh, the goddamn uh, power's been dead. So this is what I have accomplished in about three hours now. In three hours, what I have accomplished, I have put air in a tire and found out that I have spent... 2,400 fucking dollars uh, in the past month. And I still, and, and, and the little dog is out of food. And I'm going to a fucking picking party. I have no time to cook the dog his food. I have no time to deal with this fucking tire. Anyway, 
I've just been killing some time waiting for my fucking battery to charge. You know, guys, it, it, it's shit like this. It's this brain-eating shit. How many times have I had this rant? The reason we're so fucked is because of just never-ending shit like this. Ugh. Now I gotta pack up. Good fucking God. That's how I'm spending my Easter Sunday. Good fucking God. Packing up all of this goddamn bullshit into that fucking gas sucking truck out there. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. I love my life. Bye, guys.